I know you're not gonna be happy about this because you know Kizzy is feminist, <laughs> but only by convenience is what I, what I call it, right? <laughs> Stop. So Aisha Tyler, you know the comedian that's on the what is it the talk? Is the, it the talk? talk or, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say the truth, but it's that's something else. Yes. Okay, so she was married for 23 years to her husband Jeff Tejan, and he filed for divorce, and the judge ordered Tyler to pay. Get this, $31,250 a month in spousal support with a lump sum of $500,000 for the next four years for a sum totaling uh, $2 million. So I did some background work on uh, on, on Mr. Jeff because I was like, well, who is he? You know, I want to make sure he's not um, Mary J. Blige's manager. Oh, Lordy. Asking for nonsense. <laughs> but he's a, a, an attorney and he seems to have an intricate part in her career development but still i think that that's an exorbitant amount of money what do you really think? i mean i think look she is not a poor woman she is a successful woman in her own right and when the shoe is on the other foot we and the man is the breadwinner the woman gets a lot of money in spousal support either a lump sum or a monthly fee so why should this case be any different because we're so late to the table as it relates to you know equal pay for equal work as it relates to women I just think that we're just so new to the money pool that come on guy like him really really but, I don't know I know it's a double standard but guess what the standard has been flipped for so long I just feel like <laughs> you ready for you some ketchup time or? Yeah, like if, like if you had Chris Rock said it best. If you had a 400-year head start, <laughs> give me some time to recoup some stuff, right? Aisha, appeal that doggone order. I mean, you can appeal it, but I don't know how successful you'll be. Maybe you'll, he'll shell out $28,000 a month. I don't know. You, you, but know what, <laughs> you know what it is? I just think that it's, you, you have to get those prenups solid. But I guess being that they were married for so long, and that's yeah. what Twitter is saying. They've been married for so long. Because... We would say that for the woman when Chris Rock and gets divorced, if Jay and Beyonce get divorced, well, maybe they're a little that more on equal, equal just, family, but, yeah. but you would want them to be compensated, they're compensated because they, they were married, they were the breadwinner, and there's this idea, I mean, not that I necessarily subscribe to it, but being kept in the lifestyle to which you become accustomed, and for somebody like Aisha Tyler, obviously $30,000 a month is probably not a big deal. It's not like if she only made $300 and she had to give him $150 a month, that, that, that would hurt. So, I mean, Aisha, I guess you maybe it's cheaper to keep him. I don't know. I would have kept him. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's comedy paying like that. I mean, I'm well, glad I'm you in know that what? business now. She is on, um, she does the voice and one of my favorite animated shows, Archer. Uh -huh. And Archer's been on for about seven seasons, I think, and it's on Netflix. And okay, so she's, so doing some, she's I think doing she's something. making in some money. I think she's done a lot of other uh, voiceover type yeah. work. Life.